Hello and welcome to the Caravan and Motorhome Club's online virtual club week. Where I'm going to be talking to friends and colleagues to find out everything you'll need to know about touring this year and next. Time now to talk insurance and breakdown cover with the woman who is across that subject like no other, the one and only Julie Constable. How are you, Julie? <laughs> what an introduction now. I'm well, thanks, Matt. Well, you are. Every time we speak, um, you know, you give me chapter and verse about what is a really complex subject, the, the number of different financial products that the club offers to make sure people can travel with complete peace of mind. Um, anyway, we'll crack straight on. Um, tell me about the different financial uh, services that you've got, the, the kind of cover that you're able to provide through those. Yeah, of course, Matt. Well, we've, well as you know, we're not, not an insurer, but we certainly try to meet the needs of all our members. Um, we know we have a lot of members that have a variety of types of outfits our products are predominantly designed with touring in mind we offer caravan cover directly from the club which is obviously suitable for caravan owners but it also covers trailer tents and folding campers while our motorhome and camper van policy provides cover for both of those types of outfit and for members that have a touring outfit or don't have a touring outfit we have car motorbike and home insurance which can also cover pedal cycles including electric bikes and we have breakdown cover as well as travel insurance. Wow, okay, uh, that sounds like a, a huge raft, a gamut of different products. Um, let's, tour, uh, let's talk about uh, insurance. If I'm in a caravan or a motorhome and I have an accident, what exactly am I covered for? Well, the main element of cover in the event of an accident on both our caravan cover and our motorhome insurance is the cost repair of your vehicle. And importantly, with the club, you can choose where you get the repair done. So if the costs are more than the market value of the vehicle, what's uh, often called new for old cover, is available on both of the, uh, our main products. And this means that we'd pay to replace the vehicle with a new one. So for motorhomes and camper vans, that's provided for 24 months if you were the first legal owner. And for caravans, we can provide new for old cover for up to five years on our standard cover and up to 15 years on our super cover. Uh, it's obviously important that people cover the van for the right amount in order to get the cover. So we'll only cover up to the amount that's shown on someone's schedule. There's also cover to contribute towards accommodation costs, or if you have caravan cover, the hire of another vehicle. So if you're unfortunate enough to have an accident while on holiday, for instance. And there's even cover on our Mayday breakdown product to recover the vehicle following an accident. Uh, a lot of people might be thinking, well, I'm hardly using my outfit at the moment. It's there in the drive. What is the point of getting cover? What's the point of getting insured? Yeah, I think it's a really, really good point. And obviously, we've seen a much lower volume of accident, um, accidental damage claims since we first went into our lockdown at the end of March last year. Um, but we are seeing um, more costly uh, claims for stolen vehicles and an increasing number of thefts being targeted at higher value vans and from storage that's generally considered more secure as well. And we've con continued to see claims as a result of the weather. And this isn't something people can obviously predict in any way. And it's also something insurers think will happen with increasing frequency. Uh, even having breakdown cover that includes assistance at your home address is likely to be important. That way you know you've got cover to get you moving uh, when you decide you can get out and about and for some reason your vehicle for instance decides it doesn't want to uh, play ball so uh, absolutely i'd say it's very important to ensure vehicles are covered regardless of whether they're being taken out on the roads at the moment um, it's going to be interesting isn't it when uh, lockdown finishes when we're able to get out and about a little bit more maybe people will be tempted to invest in, in new outfits, maybe they're looking for an upgrade. I'm wondering when is the best time to go and get your insurance if that's what you're thinking of doing? Yeah, well, I certainly hope that we'll be able to get out a bit more uh, later this year, Matt. So if people do buy a new replacement outfit, it's a really good idea to make sure cover is in place at the point that it's picked up or delivered. So for, for motor 
motorised vehicles, obviously it's a legal requirement to have insurance in place if it's being used or kept on a road. But for caravans and trailers, it might be tempting to wait until you think you're going to use your new outfit. But the last thing anyone would want is for an unexpected event to result in a very expensive repair bill on top of the purchase cost, or even worse for the vehicle to be stolen and the investment to be completely lost. Similarly, it's important to take out cover when you exchange a new home or put a deposit down on a holiday. So really, as soon as you've committed money to something, that's, that's really a good indicator to consider putting some cover in place to protect your investment. Um, I was having to clear out of my garage one of my lockdown um, projects and it just struck me actually, you know, that my van is a big investment, but also there's everything else that goes with it. You know, there's thousands of pounds tied up um, in things like my awning and, you know, the rest of the kit. Um, where does that stand in terms of the cover that's provided? Yeah, absolutely. So for motorhomes and, and campervans, we provide up to £5,000 of cover for personal belongings and equipment. So that includes portable generators, gas bottles and, and awnings, as you mentioned. For, for caravans and trailers, we again provide cover for equipment, which is really anything that's a fixture, fitting or accessory that was added to the outfit after manufacture. We then provide cover for content which is more the types of things you'd have at home ordinarily so things like your clothing televisions bedding but but also barbecues and garden furniture and and you know we recognize people can't always take everything out of their vehicle every time they travel like like you say and um i just caution people to remove anything of sentimental value because as, as good as we are those things just can't be replaced obviously well i'm very sentimental about my portaloo that's, uh, <laughs> it holds a very special place in my heart. I'd hate to lose that. Um, the other thing uh, I suppose is worth thinking about is breakdown cover. And, you know, it's, it's not typical, is it? Most, most breakdown recovery companies um, would have a bit of a shock if they saw an A-class or, you know, a, a big motorhome that they suddenly have to find a home for. Uh, that, that's something to consider, isn't it, when looking around? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Because of the size and weight of caravans and motorhomes and campervans, it's sometimes necessary to use special equipment in order to do a recovery when they break down. Our Mayday product, which is provided by our partner, Green Flag, has been specifically designed to cover caravans, trailers and motorhomes and campervans. So it has no size or weight restrictions for these vehicles and there's no extra charge if specialist equipment does need to be used. And as we know, members may find themselves stuck in mud, snow, or, or caught out in a flood while they're out and about. There's cover to get people moving in in all of those scenarios as well. And we've also designed the product, recognizing that those with caravans have effectively two vehicles. So there's cover automatically included for, for what we call double drop which means if you break down and your caravan or trailer needs to be taken to a different destination to your towing vehicle, Mayday will arrange that as long as it's within 75 miles of your home. So you and your passengers and the vehicle that was towing will still be recovered in a normal way. So there's a, there's a number of elements in our Mayday cover that you may not find in other breakdown products that we think are really important for people who are touring. Um, it's interesting you say that because, uh, you know, one scenario I can imagine is that your outfit breaks down um, while you're on holiday and can't be repaired there and then. What does that mean? Does that mean the end of the holiday? Because some people only get a couple of weeks, um, you know, and if, if that's it, if you're spending those at home, well, it all starts to feel a bit familiar at the moment, doesn't it? Bit disappointing. Um, so, so you'll be pleased to know we have thought of that as well. So Mayday includes what's called dual recovery. So if you break down on the way to your holiday, Mayday can take you onto your destination so you can still enjoy your break. And while you're doing that, every effort will be made to repair your vehicle. If a repair isn't possible, Mayday will come out again to collect your vehicle and your passengers and get you home safely. Similarly, if you break down while at your destination, Mayday will make sure you get back to your site and also get home later. Fabulous. Um, 
I, I think one of the really attractive things that's happened in recent years is that insurers have offered cover for all of your vehicles. It, I mean, does, are you able to do that? Because, uh, you know, being specialist and covering everything, that's quite a feat to pull off. Yes, of course. And um, covering all vehicles on one policy can actually prove quite economical rather than taking out separate covers. So we can indeed do, do that on May Day. And it's, it's probably worth highlighting first that whenever uh, covering a caravan or trailer, the towing vehicle is automatically covered on May Day, even when it's not doing any towing. May Day also covers the vehicle rather than the person as standard. So this means that you've got cover for your outfit regardless who's driving it. If you've got other cars registered at the same address as the main vehicle being covered, these can be added for just £25 per vehicle. So that can be a really cost effective way to cover extra cars, perhaps those owned by children still living at home. There's also the option to add personal cover to May Day, which means the person rather than the vehicle is covered. And this may be a particularly good option if you live with someone else and you have a number of vehicles between you. Uh, so it means just for, for £32 extra, you're covered in any vehicle either of you are travelling in. How does that work overseas then? Because obviously that's a lot of our members will be looking to, you know, when these things are possible, um, to get over into Europe and, and beyond. Yeah. Uh, well, we really hope uh, members that usually like to venture abroad will be able to do so again soon. And uh, perhaps some that haven't tried touring overseas uh, might be tempted to, uh, to try it as well. So uh, most of our products do cover um, overseas. Our caravan cover automatically includes cover in Europe up to 182 days. Uh, we can usually extend that if that's needed. Uh, motorhome or camp van cover automatically includes 365 days comprehensive cover in the EU. So if anyone fancies a long tour through Europe, uh, this cover is not, not something all policies will provide or, or there may be a charge for. And our car insurance automatically includes cover in the EU for up to 270 days in the year. Um, so it's worth highlighting, Matt, um, that following the UK leaving the EU, a green card is necessary for both motorised vehicles and vehicles being towed which those members covered or insured with us can get from our partner debit for a small administration fee. Um, and last but certainly not least, if members are traveling in Europe, we have our red pennant product, which is really quite unique in being able to provide travel insurance and European breakdown cover together. And most importantly, providing help directly from multilingual club staff if members do experience emergency situations while they're away. Um, and I, I know you're talking to our travel experts about later who will provide more information about this great product and how the club can support people traveling abroad with an outfit, which I personally think could be quite daunting if it's not something you've done before or if you're venturing to somewhere new. So that's that's our product for, for breakdown overseas, Red Pennant, whereas May Day is for UK breakdown. Yeah, um, we're going to be talking um, a, a little bit later uh, about the many challenges that the changing face of touring in Europe uh, is throwing up. I mean, I, I know, Julie, whenever we speak, that the products you offer, they're constantly changing. Um, and you're on top of that, making sure that they reflect exactly what the, the challenges uh, that uh, members are facing. So uh, I look forward to finding out what's up your sleeve next time we meet. Lovely talking to you, even in this strange way that we are currently, uh, but it's, it's good to hear from you, Julie. You take care of yourself. Thanks, Matt. Good to see you, albeit virtually. Bye-bye.